start to every great video starts with a man and his dog. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We are in the 7600 today and we have the merger hooked up. So last night I got the 4640 onto the Rhino Ag RDF 14 wheel rig. Dad is taking that out to rake with it and he just got done with the 11 acre field. So now I'm going to go out there with the merger, merge it together uh, to hopefully speed things up for Travis a little bit. And once I get a decent amount merged, I'm gonna come back and Travis is gonna take the tractor, hook it up to the baler and start baling. So I gotta go back home this afternoon because I my house is currently disaster. I'm getting that new floor put in and things are, um, things are going quick but I need to be there to kind of start putting some things back together because I'm currently without water <laughs> so we're gonna take the merger out and take her for a run for those of you who haven't seen our previous video with this unit the whole point of a merger is in the name itself to merge together windrows so we have the merger here. It's all hooked up and ready to go. Now I gotta set it up. We're gonna do the outside two rounds first. Um, actually, yeah, I, I wanna get that outside windrow away from the outside of the field because of the trees and stuff. So we're gonna go along this one right here. I'm gonna set the merger up to start merging. So we have this controller here. I gotta turn it on. And I wanna drop down the extension. like so and then I can adjust this on the fly I can extend that out more and then that'll activate the belt so we're gonna go ahead and start up the PTO that gets the pickup moving we're gonna drop her down I'm gonna run it about 1400 There we go. Start the belt. And get going. See that rock bouncing along down there until it kicked it out. One of the nice things about having one of these mergers is that they do, they're not supposed to pick up the rocks. Just like that one there got kicked out from the pickup. I'm merging these together because the windrows really aren't that thick because it's a later crop it's gonna be lighter I'm merging inward and probably on my next pass I'm gonna merge outward so I'll be combining three passes into one
flying the drone up and I noticed oh wow so it looks like the coon had been out in this something has definitely been eating the ears on these plants now just looking at this I wouldn't say this is I wouldn't say this is wind damage because they're not all falling in the same direction I got plants that are breaking off that way I've got some that are broken off this way whoa there's no signs of cattle tracks um, They'd probably be the neighbors, if anything, because my cattle are locked out into the far pasture, and they have been for a while. So, just look at this. Broken right off. It's such a perfect square. I don't know if these plants were just weak because they're hidden behind these trees and then maybe these plants had secondary stressors like wind and then maybe the coon just kind of finished off the plants. I really don't know, but this is, this is ugly. Wow. But look at this, we got fresh damage right here. This happened very recently. So my guess is coon. Hey Siri, call Andrew Tucker. What'd you think of that picture I sent you? That's crazy. What the heck? I, do you think it's coon? I mean, I can tell that the, something's been eaten on the ears. Like, pretty much all the ears are eaten off of. Yeah, well, uh, coon usually pull them down like that. Deer will knock some over as they walk through it, but deer will leave them standing and then just pick the ears off normally, except for where they walk, but... Uh, I have seen bear do that, but when bear do it, it's usually steam, like it's, it's flat, flat, which kind of looks like it is, but. Yeah, it's, uh, it's bear, pretty flat. I mean, I don't see any tracks or anything like that, so. Um, do you see a lot of cods that are just the cods sitting there with all the kernels eating off of it? Uh, yeah. This is ridiculous. I know the coon have been bad this year because they've been fighting with the dogs. Yeah, like there's a pattern. Like you can tell where they kind of walked in. Oh yeah. they're going in, and then you can tell where they went farther into the field. There's a couple spots there, so I know it's probably going to grow a little bit too. Unfortunately, so. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Well, that's a coon problem if I've ever seen one. The merger worked good. Now we're gonna hook the 7600 up to the baler. Now Travis is gonna go out and bale either tonight and tomorrow. Um, he said he wanted to bale this afternoon, um, but they're not calling for rain for two days yet, so we got plenty of time to get it made. Um, I'm gonna hook the 7600 up to the baler, and then that's gonna be pretty much it for this video because I'm gonna go home and work on the house because I need to have a working toilet in my place. Yeah, as well as running water. So Travis just finished for the night. He did the two strips up front here. He still has what's straight back, but uh, that shouldn't take too long to do in the morning. So what he's planning on doing tomorrow is hooking back up to the uh, sprayer and spraying fertilizer on this hay. And then dad and I tomorrow, um, since we didn't get my toilet installed tonight because we painted the bathroom instead so that we could paint behind the, the toilet. Um, that while dad and I are, after dad and I are done installing the toilet tomorrow morning, then we, him and I are going to haul bales in because I've got 28 bales out of my 10 acre field out there. Um, I don't even know how many he's got out of the 40 plus all the bales here. So, um, we'll probably hook up to the bale carrier and pretty much just move bales all day. So what do you say we call it a night rocket? Hmm? Take that as a yes. 
That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All How Farms Work. And with that, I'll see you next time. All right, scratch that. One more thing to do. Travis just called me right when I was finishing up talking. Uh, the baler blew a tire. And he made it. He's trying to make it back to my 11 acre field. He said it blew by it. So we're going to pull it out there, get it off the road. And then he asked me to come pick him up. Rip it apart yet tonight so I can take it over and get it fixed.